Today, we're going to do a little art project that involves some math, and it's fun. So don't be too afraid. Make sure you've got your wiggles out, your hands are clean, and you have a nice, safe working space. And grab out your art packet, and we are going to make a barrel of apples. It'll be almost as fun as a barrel of monkeys. Close. All right. So you'll see what we have here are two light tan pieces. And then we have six long rectangles. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Now, I'm going to switch out these two. All right. For some reason, I had ones that are a little shorter in there. Okay, so what we're going to do first is make our barrel. We're going to need today a brown crayon or a crown of your favorite color. You're going to just write your name and the number on it. And you're going to need a glue stick. And then the packet of apples and all of our barrel parts. So let's get our barrel put together. We're actually going to do it from the back side. So set. Here, I should do this upside down. So this is the bottom of the barrel. It's the smaller side. And up here is the larger side. And what we're going to do is place them about the same amount of, apart as the length of our rectangle. So this is a perfect length for me. So what I'm going to do now is take this off. I'm going to put glue all the way across the bottom and then all the way across the top. And then we'll put, we're going to start with the middle. So you don't want it to go past the line. So our very first, oops, tape, our glue is sticky. I know, rock, rock, there you go. Okay, so then all we're gonna do is build out. So you can make it a little like this. You want the apples to be shown, to show through a little. Plus you have to make it a little diagonal, which is the, like the line of on the side of a triangle, just a little bit so you're, your um, little wooden planks work out. Okay, here we go. Now it doesn't look like much of a barrel from this side, unfortunately, but when we flip it over, yay, look at this, we have our apple barrel. And <laughs> feel free to, it just comes right off and you can readjust it too. If, you, if you're like me and you went a little too far past, that works. I always fold it back too. Okay, so now we have our apple barrel. Now I give you all a different amount of apples to see how many you would like to put in your apple barrel. So I am going to flip my apple barrel back over so we have it on the ugly side here. And I'm gonna take my glue and I'm gonna just go up these striped lines really quickly so my apples will stick. And you can all put a different amount of apples in there. I gave you guys an option. You could do all your favorite colors. You could do different colors. My favorite apples are the green apples. So I'm gonna start and I'm gonna make sure my apples stay inside the barrel here. So there's one green apple. One yellow apple. Okay. I'm going to put some glue now on the top of my apples to kind of, oops, build my apple barrel out. My glue fell apart there. And I'm going to put a red apple, that, and uh, probably another green apple, and I'll do another red apple. Maybe just for fun on the top, I'm going to do a yellow apple. There we go. Actually, we can flip it over. Let's see. I think that'll look good right there on top. So as you can see, we flip it over. We have our barrel of apples. So let me count and see how many apples I've used. One, two, three, four, five, six. I used six apples. So I am going to take my crayon and I am going to write the number six. And then I'm gonna write my name on the bottom. And I'm gonna use my neatest handwriting because my mom loves to put my artwork up on the refrigerator. So 
I want to make sure that she's not embarrassed when I have sloppy handwriting here. So I'm going to try my best. But Miss Autumn doesn't always have the best handwriting. Let's see how I've done. And here we go. Here's our barrel of apples. I hope uh, it was as fun as a barrel of monkeys. 